Hey, how you doing? So I want to talk about three things today. Um, things that are happening right now as we are speaking. Uh, as of January 18th, on a Saturday, 2024. I'm going to be talking about three things today. Um, so without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is that <clears throat> TikTok has been sued um, for by 5,000 parents around the world. <clears throat> now, piss. I am pissed about this because what have I been telling you guys? Modern day parenting is sucky. Every right now, parents are being parented by well, how am I gonna say it? like child today <laughs> today's society. Um, children uh, who are born today um, are in an age where the internet is a very big thing and everybody has access to the internet <clears throat> and parents think that uh, the internet should raise their child and they just don't want to be parents so when uh, the child goes on the internet and the parents don't want to see then the parents don't want the child to see what's on the internet uh, they get mad at the person who made the thing because it hurt the child and we all know that it's not their fault that the child saw what they saw it's the parents fault because they have not they didn't parent the child they're not interacting with the child they're not doing something with the child they're just giving the child the internet and just say here you go here's you know coco melon here's you know google go hog wild with what you got <clears throat> and that's the big thing about it uh, parents right now i'm not saying that every single parent is like this um but parents or majority of parents or some parents are like whatever parents today um they are blaming everything but themselves um i've made a whole video talking i made like a whole eight minute video talking about this and just saying how bad parents are and this is what happens they not they are not blaming tiktok and tiktok has been a lot of feuds and all that that was like i think a long time ago where tiktok had like a problem with china and all that so a lot uh, you know it's just be a better parent parent your child don't let the internet waste um, your child for you. Do you see what's happening to children on the internet now? Do you see what's happening in Gen Z now? The, I've seen so many videos just children nowadays being raised on the internet and they're acting dumb. Um, there's some sources out there that say that children right now, they can't even read properly at like the age of five. When I was the age of five, I was able to read a whole Dr. Seuss book and I was happy about that. So just be better parents. Um, don't at least blame yourself don't blame you know the person there just blame yourself blame yourself you you're the reason why uh tiktok is there it's not tiktok's fault that your child has stumbled upon it it's your fault for not even you know taking care of your child not even being a good parent to your child so please stop blaming everything but yourselves just be a better parent don't be a shitty parent be a better parent parent your child interact with your child if you have a mutual bond with your child your child will most, like, will most likely listen to you and they will not really go on the internet that much please just be a better parent don't sue everything that you know all those 5,000 parents are disgraceful I spit on you <coughs> spit okay the next thing on our agenda is Ubisoft and membership to play games basically and that you don't have the right to own a game anymore and obviously it doesn't take a doctor or a phd you know degree person to realize how dumb an idea that is um saying that you don't own the game that you buy which is crazy and we have to pay memberships for it that's what ubisoft is claiming um basically uh, paraphrasing uh pe players or gamers nowadays have to now get comfortable with not owning games and they have to pay a membership in order to continue playing that game online and i think that is probably the dumbest idea i have ever heard from a company right next to twitch and take two for saying red dead redemption uh it's not gonna get a ps4 remake it's gonna get a nintendo switch port and that's very dumb um ubisoft is better than this um i know ubisoft is such a bad company equivalent to ea and they are good games uh, literally my favorite game series ever created in the history of humanity and the space earthwalk um assassin's creed is from ubisoft and i still think ubisoft sucks um i know some people um some like people out there i know they play all six um 
those, those was made by Ubisoft. And I guess now they have to get used to not owning the game. Now they have to pay a membership on top of paying Xbox Live or PS4 Plus. If you have consoles, I don't know about PC. I'm not a PC guy. Um, but now they have to pay a membership on top of that. I think. I don't know. I'm not too sure. But um, I don't get it anymore. Why do I have to pay um, a membership? Uh, I bought the game. Why don't I own the game anymore? Uh, why do I have to pay a membership for it if I bought the game already? So there's a lot of like inferring that um, I've seen on the internet a lot. Well, if, uh, <laughs> if, if buying a game doesn't mean I'm owning it, then pirating a game doesn't mean I'm stealing it. And that's very true. <laughs> that's actually true. That's funny. But um, I think pirating now will significantly increase by the time. So when this actually applies to games, I'm g don't you're gonna see pirating getting very popular, and a lot of people are pirating are gonna pirate games. Like it, it's inevitable. It's gonna happen. People are gonna pirate games more. You don't see a lot of people pirating, but once Ubisoft implicates this idea and other game companies get influence and implementing this to their games, it's gonna pirating's gonna get high. Um, it's everybody's gonna be like Edward Kenway. Everything they're all gonna pirate these games because it's such a dumb idea. Nobody wants to pay membership. Nobody wants you know. Nobody wants to be told that I bought this game. I don't own it now. Like what the heck? What is this? Like I'm investing in the game. Like what the heck? You. When you buy something, you have to you own it, no matter what, online, in person, drugs, I don't care. When you buy something, that means you own it. You, you, you are now the owner of that object or of that um, thing. You you own it. It's yours, and you don't say that. Oh, you can't own it. You bought it, but you can't own it. But that's dumb. Why do I pay membership to own something? That's horrible. And I, don't don't get me wrong. Pirating is gonna get increased by that. And, um, <clears throat> so, game, uh, Ubisoft, if you're gonna implement an idea, get comfortable with people pirating your games. How's that? Take that, Ubisoft. Please, just, why? Like, that's such a dumb idea. Don't do it. Or at least, if you're gonna do it, don't do it yet. Uh, maybe, like, I'm, I'm not gonna go into this right now, but just, it's such a dumb idea. So the last thing I wanna talk about is more good news than actually just, like, horrible news that has been happening. Um, as of now, today, January 18th, 2024, 16 years ago, from this day, uh, a legendary show was released by the name of Breaking Bad, and Breaking Bad was released as of this day, 16 years ago, and I, I, I want to make a whole video talking about Breaking Bad, um, this is, this, this is, if this, if I did it, uh, if this was on the Straw Hat Verdict meter, this would obviously go as like 10, like 100 over 10, like any day, Breaking Bad is amazing. No flaws with it at all. I don't know any flaws with that TV show. Um, and I'm so glad that today is basically the anniversary of it. It has turned 16 years ago since its release date. And this show was amazing. This is absolutely a must watch. A little straw hat for the here, I guess. Um, you're following a person named Walter White. Um, and he goes on like, a, he's very poor, like a chemistry teacher. He's very poor. Uh, he gets lung cancer. Um, and then he has no money. He doesn't get a lot of money. So he has to find ways to make money uh, for his family so the family can survive. <clears throat> and so he meets up with one of his high school students by the name of Jesse Pickman. And both of them start like a, both of them start like a drug company together. Um, and they go on this big thing and then a lot of things happen. His ego catches up to him. His ego takes over. And that's basically Breaking Bad. It's so good. Watch it. There's a lot of good characters in it. And I'm surprised that Battle Call Saul hasn't been... Um, Emmyed a lot and didn't get any rewards at all in the Emmys, which is dumb, but that's not about Better Call Saul right now. Breaking Bad has turned 16 years old today, and that show is amazing. Definitely watch it, and that's all I want to talk about today. So, thanks for watching.